Well, some people may be thinking, is this a video from the Boxing Librarian? And indeed it is. It's my first proper video, non-live stream, um, of 2022, which is going to be a busy year for me in videos, okay? But first, I have to cover this, okay? The um, Boxing Librarian all-time pound-pound rankings update, adding the year 2021 um, onto my 100-plus years of pound-pound rankings. Now, just one little side note about this top 10 um a few fighters closer to the bottom got in partially because they've done well uh partially because other fighters big name fighters either have no professional wins uh have no titles um have been inactive there's it's been a strange year a bit like last year okay so we have to keep that in mind um when looking at my top 10 for 2021 but i'll waste no more time okay i'll get straight on with it okay let me list um the top 10 rated pound pound rankings in 2021 joining my all-time 100 plus year list and the list is as follows okay uh, in 10th place, we have Stephen Fulton, um, and in 9th place, we have Devin Haney, and those two were helped out by some of the extra factors I mentioned um, in the intro. Now, in 8th place, okay, we have uh, Unified Light Heavyweight Beast Artur Baturbiev, um, and in 7th place, okay, we have Japanese Monster Inui, um, who had a few fights this year, not very great opponents, um, but still defended his titles on a few occasions. In 6th place, shooting in okay, is George Cambos. Jr. Um, after his fantastic win over Teofimo Lopez for the unified lightweight titles and in fifth place okay finally settling uh, the trilogy and finally putting Deontay Wilder to bed um, is the Gypsy King Tyson Fury. Now in fourth place okay Terence Crawford finally got a big name opponent. Um, it was a tough fight in parts but Terence Crawford stopped Sean Porter got the job done um, for his biggest win at Welterweight and probably biggest win of his career in all honesty. Um, in third place, um, undisputed light welterweight champion from Scotland, Josh Taylor, is just outside um, the top two. But the top two for 2021, okay, in second place, the fantastic Alexander Usyk, um, who was undisputed lineal cruiserweight champion, jumped up, had two fights and then captured three belts off the UK's heavyweight unified champion, Anthony Joshua. We await the rematch, which is going to be another fantastic, intriguing night. But number one, okay, topping the pound pound list for 21 uh, 2021 is indeed Canelo Alvarez who fought a whole number of times three times in a year four times in the last year when you look at you know 12 month period um, to become undisputed super middleweight champion we are uh, await Canelo Alvarez's next move but he tops the list in 2021 uh, just to reinforce the disclaimer at the start some fighters could have got in, but they've either not even fought this year, um, or they have no titles, or they are too inactive. There's a whole number of things that factored around it. Me personally, I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I'm looking forward to uh, the pandemic ending. I'm looking forward to boxers getting back and getting active again, having regular fights, um, you know, and hopefully my pound pound list will reflect that normal activity. Because the last two, this one and last one, with the pandemic, where some fighters not even boxing have been a bit strange. But my first video here many hundreds more videos to come i'm out for now